So many say the green target is quite ambitious for Malaysia. Do you think about nuclear as part of the mix that should get to those goals? We are uh, carefully looking at uh, nuclear as uh, one of our paths to decarbonisation. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you rightly pointed out, um, you know, right, uh, currently we still have about 80% mm -hmm. of our electricity comes from coal and natural gas. Um, and we have declared no new coal plants um, and that will mean that we will eventually uh, probably import our uh, gas our, through LNG imports uh, but that means that we also other than our um, uh, solar uh, and hydro um, we need to carefully look at nuclear as an option for us to reach our target of net zero by 2050. How do you think the palm oil conversation will be resolved with the Europe and, of course, uh, the, you are trying to pursue other markets, such as the China. Is that enough? Are you still engaged in conversations with the EU side? Definitely. Uh, we believe that Malaysia has shown a, a good example. Um, we recognize the challenges, the problems um, um, of the palm oil industry. But when we talk about Malaysia, our palm oil industry is basically now all sustainable palm oil under our MSPO uh, standard. Mm -hmm. uh, and we carefully follow those uh, uh, policies uh, you know, uh, to, uh, to curb new deforestation, no uh, new uh, palm oil uh, plantations on peatlands. Mm -hmm. um, so for us, um, you know, and, and palm oil remains the most efficient vegetable oil there is. Mm -hmm. You know, if you stop using palm oil, there will be other vegetable oils which will not be as efficient, will uh, need greater amount of land right. and whatnot. So we have been engaging in very uh, productive conversations um, with uh, the EU um, and we will uh, continue to do so uh, because we believe that uh, we can do sustainable palm oil.